Hello there. A Life Church in Tucson is honored to provide these daily readings in our Life Transformation Discipleship Plan. Find out more at alivechurch.com slash transformation. Our readings this week focus on spiritual gifts. I would discover and use my spiritual gifts. As a follower of Jesus, the Holy Spirit has gifted me for His divine purposes to build up and encourage the body of Christ. I did not choose my spiritual gifts. They are not something I earned. Consequently, I cannot take credit in any way for them. I am, however, responsible to prayerfully seek God's guidance in discovering and using them for His purpose and plan. When I use them properly, they serve the whole body of Christ. I will discover and use my spiritual gifts. Should I feel the temptation of pride in my spiritual gifts, I will remember that the Holy Spirit is the source of all gifts. They are not a source of pride, but a blessing to serve the body of Christ with humility. Should I feel the temptation to be jealous of the gifts of other followers of Jesus, I will remember that the Holy Spirit alone is the source of all gifts. God works in and through all believers in different ways using our gifts. He has given me the exact gift I need to serve Him, His church, and the kingdom of God. Should I feel the temptation to be competitive with other followers of Jesus with my spiritual gifts, I will remember the Holy Spirit is the source of all gifts. The gifts God gives are not designed to divide, but to unify the body of Christ. I will not devalue the gifts the Holy Spirit has given me, for to do so is offensive to the Spirit. My motive for using my spiritual gifts is serving God and His people. I will discover and use my spiritual gifts. I recognize that outside of the body of Christ, His church, I cannot successfully live the purpose God has given me with His gifts. He did not give me His gifts to be used selfishly or in solitude. I recognize my need for the rest of the body of Christ and their need for me. We are most effective when we use our unique and diverse spiritual gifts working together for the sole purpose of the mission of Jesus. In this way, my spiritual gifts unite the body of Christ. I will never allow my spiritual gifts to divide the body of Christ. I will instead remain focused on the one thing that unites us all, Jesus. I will discover and use my spiritual gifts. Day 5. Equal in importance are our gifts. 1 Corinthians 12, 22 through 26. In fact, some parts of the body that seem weakest and least important are actually the most necessary, and the parts we regard as less honorable are those we clothe with the greatest care. So we carefully protect those parts that should not be seen, while the more honorable parts do not require this special care. So God has put the body together such that extra honor and care are given to those parts that have less dignity. This makes for harmony among the members, so that all the members care for each other. If one part suffers, all the parts suffer with it. And if one part is honored, all the parts are glad. Galatians 6, 2-3 Share each other's burdens, and in this way obey the law of Christ. If you think you're too important to help someone, you're only fooling yourself. You are not that important. 1 Corinthians 12, 11 is our memory verse. It is the one and only Spirit who distributes all these gifts. He alone decides which gift each person should have. If you don't have a Life Transformation Bible from a live church, we'd love to send you one. Let us know by sending an email to office at alivechurch.com. Enjoy your day and be sure and tell a friend about these readings.